Hi everyone, <clears throat> Ray from Pro Stream. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, with another racket restringing tutorial. Today's racket will be a Babble Up Pure Drive, uh, a much older generation of racket, as you may tell. As you've seen, I've just placed the racket nicely on the machine. Find your middle, which down here is, you can see you've got three loops or six holes, and at the top, this racket doesn't indicate exactly where it, sh where it goes. But you can obviously count uh, eight to each side, eight main strings at the top. Um, and there you go, make sure, there's, make sure the racket is able to move around ever so slightly. Um, <clears throat> and there you have it, the racket's on the machine correctly. 16, 19 stringing pattern, therefore, because of the six holes at the bottom, we will always start at the top. <clears throat> the client wants uh, 23 and a half kilos, kilos of tension, which my machine does come in kilos. But I did this client's rack, you've got two different pure drives and I strung it last night and I think it was 51.7 51, 51 or 51.7, I believe. Alexa. 23.5 times 2.2. 2. 23.5 times 2.2 2 is 51.7. 51.7, I only remember because that was just last night actually. <coughs> so I just put it all the way through. You need to tell, exactly. I'm teaching um, somebody how to string, Kai. Pretty much, I guess you could call him apprentice. Once he's able to string unassisted, then we'll pay him uh, per racket. He's on his fifth, fifth racket, sixth. sixth. His all-time sixth racket. He's already starting to get it. So as you've just seen, well, with my guidance, of course, he's getting it. Uh, my super Yeah, that's fine. But left hand on the string, push the string up, up. No, no, the other one. That's it. Now push it up, push it. Remember that one needs to sit flush. Push it all the way up. Okay. Now keep your fingers on it. And now pull the string. There you go. So it just looks like it's really close. Don't pull it down. So it defeats the whole purpose. Don't. So it looks like it's really close. But that's only surely because the last cross is you haven't been using your hand. Where do I come? Yeah. So as you guys saw, I'll go through that with you. I found my side that I measured with. And all you do is run your fingers through the string, both sides, measure, and then cut the string as you would have seen a moment ago. Babble up pure drive 1619. We start from the top of the racket as you just saw to loop around. These are quite, you can see they're quite obvious the loops here. If you start at the bottom, it won't work. 51.7 pounds of tension, which is the equivalent of 23 and a half kilos. Uh, I believe I have other videos with a Babble up pure drive, but just in case some of you might think that it's strung differently, if you do have a different version and the string has come loose because it slipped from the tension head, which therefore I need to now pull the first string again. <clears throat> Hold this, make sure that the first clamp isn't beneath the, the level of the racket or the string in itself or the grommets. There you have it. Always pulling the strings that are in the neck of the racket underneath the frame, under. Not over, but under. You need to pull that other string though, Kai. The one above it. You haven't pulled it yet. Oh, you don't stick it back up. You need space, exactly. To be able to reach the, uh, the tension head, right? This is called tension head. What pulls the, the string in itself. So guys, three strings to each side, don't firstly. Sorry? Yeah, perfect, good. No, but you got a clamp, right? So pull it again. Yeah, right. put your clamp on. Oh, I've got 20 minutes. I've got to finish this racket. Actually, yeah, 20 minutes. Before I go pick up my son from nursery, or I guess kindergarten. So, I might... Who one does he go to? He goes to Stepping Stones. No, start, start near... Um... Fulham? Oh. Or just before Fulham. Uh, well, I guess... Uh, might be on the, on the border. I think it is. I think it's classed as Fulham somehow. 
and it's like two streets over from Akron, literally. <clears throat> Make sure the camera is rolling. Sometimes I doubt everything. There we go. Okay. My fifth main string. This racket is actually in quite poor condition. Um, I will suggest, I know the racket, the client needs the rackets back ASAP, so I will uh, let them know that, that they should. I mean, if the grommet still exists for this racket or not, because the older model uh, is questionable, I don't know. They, they, they do like to re, um, discontinue grommets rather quickly. That way you need to buy a new racket. So if you are planning or not, if you're really happy with the racket and planning to never change or not change for a very long time, you're not somebody who treats the rackets uh, badly, then you could even buy a grommet non <coughs> when you buy the racket. Sorry? Sorry. You need to use not, the not button. I did. You pressed it, now 62, yeah? Yeah. Fantastic. Kai's starting to really get the hang of it. So you had the clamp in the wrong place though. That yeah. clamp should be at the top. Hold on, one second. Let me make sure you pull that second last string properly. I think you have that. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to pull away that from time to time. So that should have been here. What's going on here? I'm confused. But anyway, regardless, the tank goes here now. Okay. The knot's gonna probably be. This is a cheaper racket, it's not the best from the West. It needs to go in here. So not much space as you can see here. The next racket you do, not today, but today I'll start getting you to do the knots, yeah? All right. See, see the lag? Yeah. That should go in nicely. Don't pull too hard. Just going through the knots, guys. <coughs> the finishing knot. Cut them oh, both. Yeah, cut them both. Well done. That was your quickest racket probably by far. Sixth racket, did you say? Yeah. Sixth racket. Kai's had a sixth racket. Um, he's picked up some really good time on that one. Maybe under an hour, yeah. I would say. <clears throat> Completely super, supervised at all times. Um, but no, good, good progress. Well done. Uh, last main string. I don't know if you guys have been following this at all. But I did three to one side. One, two, three, and then again, one, two, three, and then three again, three again, and then two. I can now do the knot. Well, I need to do the knot because I'm doing four knots, which I always do, holds tension much better. <coughs> Parnell knot, and up, and there you go. <coughs> and through there. What's up with Just put the chair on the other. Where's the um the label? Just there. Let's put it together with the label, please. So. Did these put together? Sorry? No. Separate. Just the, that one, the one that is on the floor already. Goes with this guy's. Same racket but different generation, let's say. Different year. <clears throat> Tennis rackets are a bit like cars. They launch uh, the new ones every few years. As you can see, I went down, around, through the loop, down, around, through the first knot that I made. And this is called a Parnell knot. <clears throat> so, there you have it, the mains are done. <clears throat> and I now have the crosses. 16, 19, measure, the way I measure it at least is, String against the full length of the racket, not just the head, but the full length, including the grip. So the head and the grip. Two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. <clears throat> you can always leave yourself a bit more if you don't feel that comfortable stringing yet, just to be safe. This 
grommet. You may not be able to see it, but it does have a little black hole around it indicating where you should start your crosses. Again, down around and through my first knot, Parnell knot. <clears throat> Fifty one point seven tension, twenty three point five kilos, twenty four twenty fifty one point seven pounds to twenty three and a half kilos. Very odd or should not odd. You don't get many clients asking for point fives or point ones or anything like that. I used to have a client, I actually haven't seen in a while. Um, always asking for uh, can't remember now. 50, listen, to make an example, it was like 51.2 on the mains. And then the crosses, uh, he used to use the Luxidon Alu Power with, um, with natural gut. And then the gut was like 53.8 or something like that. 0.2 and 0.8. You have to be incredibly fussy to start using 0.1s and 2s or whatever, any type of point, anything. You're good to go if you want, huh? Yeah. I don't have time for another racket today, unfortunately. Um, tomorrow, my wife has got Friday, right? My wife travels tomorrow, so um, I'm going to be super limited in the evening. So if not, I would say come over in the evening, uh, like we did last Friday, right? But um, also just take the put it just clean up, pretty much. So lock lock the machine, put the machine straight. Yeah. Pull the lock, the lever underneath. Yeah, cool. Turn the machine off. And then put the cover on. Simple things, guys. For example, I'm just asking Kai to clean up his little working space. Just the machine, put the machine away. Any string left on the floor, just give it to me and I'll put it away in this, on the shelf with the basket. As you guys can see, I'm always stringing one in front of myself, one ahead typically cold so I do have one that's ready to go but I'm going to push that one up I mean if, if you want to watch for a little bit it's up to you if you want to go go oh, man. up to you man if you want to stay go, go whatever. I'll stay for five minutes, I'll stay five minutes. anybody home at the moment or? yeah my mum's at home yeah. she work from home a bit or a lot or no nah, she doesn't work from home <coughs> off today huh she's off, she's today. off today yeah Oh, the money. Yeah, you lost it. Right, let me finish this racket then. It'll be like five minutes anyway. Five, seven minutes. Right, I'm going to step on the turbo, guys, a little bit. I'm going to get rid of the knot. It's in my way. Not really, but kind of. Keep hooking onto my jacket. Anyway. Not really a jacket, actually. I don't know what it is. Jacket slash hoodie. Anyway, moving my hand, keeping a little bit of pressure applied on the string that's being tightened or pulled. And you push the string up and weave another. And so on and so on. See, kind look. Every time I pull the string, I hold my hand. Keeps the string nicely in line. So the, the more we don't move the strings after we finish the better. The less tension is lost. So the idea of these videos is to create as much content as possible. We do get a pretty big amount of rackets coming in coming in all the time so just so we're gonna document as many different models and brands as possible and then eventually also how to do a couple different types of knots the machines we use but I just want to do a good amount of rackets and have some good content out there that way if you guys get stuck with a certain brand or model you could be uh, your go-to videos maybe Hoping to uh, have a, you know, 40, 50, 60, 100 different models in the next few months, which is very realistic. 
I would say I probably see as many Babla and Wilsons um, brand wise, maybe head as well. Maybe a, in, maybe head in third place. I'd say maybe Babylon and Wilson as many as uh, each other, perhaps. Maybe Babylon's even leading. You just did a Babylon, didn't you, Kai? The blue one has a Babylon. Um, I've got two Wilsons on the side here waiting to be strung. What's over there? Another Babylon. A Prince. Don't see that many Princes anymore. I believe they're, they're still okay in the States, but unfortunately they've gone bust three or four times in Europe over the last... 15 years maybe, give or take. <clears throat> All right, five cross strings left. Four cross strings left. Keep your hand on the string you're pulling. As you just saw, so Kai, once um, once you're able to string by yourself, yeah, yeah I'll always probably string here anyway. But if you're able to string a bit by yourself, you know, unassisted, you know, how to start the racket, etc., etc. You might be just a few away though. I think you might be. I think you've got the main concept of the main strings or the vertical strings, horizontals, etc. I feel like it's just uh, measuring. Let's see, maybe the next one. I'll see what um. Well, I kind of do leave you to it, don't I? I try to. Today I said, okay, here's the racket, string it. All right, this is the measuring and the knots, maybe, yeah. Sounds about right to me. I think you're, you're weaving, you understand the weaving. You kind of do catch the mistake when you make it. Where you have to go back on yourself and, and just rectify. All right, one more weave, guys. The last cross string on this Babylon Pure Drive. Didn't have that much string left, so I couldn't wrap it around the uh, the little knob that the tension head has. That's why I didn't pull the last and weave the last three um, strings. So tension up, guys, on the last string, and there we have it. I am going to cut some string. I have a lot of string here, not that much, but enough to be too much for my knot. Don't need that much. The more string I have, the more I have to pull through, etc. So just under, back through the initial loop, and then the same, but through the first knot that I made. Again, parallel knot. It looks good, especially if you cut the sh knot nice and short, not too short. Don't let it catch you out, as you can see. Release all the clamps. And there you go, guys. Babylon Pure Drive completed. I don't know if you can see the knot there. Not too short. A couple knots, in fact. Uh, I'm going to straighten out my strings real quick, which should be minimal. I mean, it should be after stringing for 20 something years. I started when I was 12 and a half, since I could break a string. My dad bought me a manual machine and said we can't afford to pay stringers, so you're going to string your own rackets. And who would have thought? <laughs> who would have thought? We are top top uh, racket restringing in London, by the way. We have our own strings as well. Our polyesters are made in Germany, and our multi-filament in Austria. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, hopefully, some useful knowledge. And um, happy stringing. Take care, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.